This question has some odd transition words that we don't encounter very often, but many of them can still be categorized into the four main transition categories that we're supposed to be thinking about pretty much for any transitions question. But let's start just by reading the paragraph and seeing what we're given. Uh, Jhumpa Lahiri's story collection, Interpreter of Maladies, features multiple stories about romantic relationships. In The Blessed House, newlyweds argue over whether or to replace items left by the previous owners of their new home. In a temporary matter, a husband and wife attempt to rekindle the relationship during a four-night blackout. These just seem like two examples. So you might be tempted to pick something like B, but that is definitely wrong because the second example is not an example of the first example, right? There are two examples in succession. Both of them were, are examples of the stories that are in this book. So maybe if the four example were before in this blessed house, then we'd be okay. But to put it after the first example is already over and, and make the second example seem like it's an example of the first thing is just wrong. These are two separate kind of like equivalent examples. Um, now, hence, we should memorize is a so word. Uh, granted is an odd one. That one doesn't come up very often, but I've been seeing it more on the digital SAT. Uh, it's basically a, a version of but. It's a way to kind of say that maybe what we just said um, is a little dismissive of, of what we're about to say, right? So, or maybe vice versa, that what we're about to say that doesn't really match completely with what we just said. So we'll see some examples of that in other questions on the SAT, but I don't think this is a contrast here because these seem to, again, be two examples of the same thing. It also doesn't seem like the second example is a like continuation or a cause and effect situation. So the best answer here is likewise, which we just use for comparisons. It basically means something like uh, similarly or just an and word. And so, yeah, these are kind of just two examples. We are not contrasting them in any way. We're not trying to say one is better than the other or one follows from another. They're just two examples of what the first sentence in this entire paragraph says. Uh, so that is the answer. I would not be um, confused by this one, but I do believe that it is uh, going against a rule that I've probably said in other videos. The word likewise is almost never correct. It's one of those words that sounds really smart, so people are tempted to pick it when they're confused about what's going on, but it's very rarely the correct answer on an SAT question. Here, it was, and that's because it was being used in its actual way, which was just to say that two things are similar. So both of these examples are examples of what came up in the first sentence. Uh, they are stories about romantic relationships. So example one, this blessed house is about newlyweds arguing over their new home. Similarly, likewise, we have in a temporary matter, husband and wife are kindling their relationship through a blackout. So two examples of the same thing, best case scenario for likewise. But again, if, if you didn't, if it didn't feel like it was gonna fit, you probably shouldn't pick it. It's not a choice that you go to when you're just trying to guess randomly.